welcome back to Inconceivable Monday. Inconceivable words. Not that these words aren't understood, can't be understood, but sometimes they're used and we, we don't think about what we're saying. One of them that uh, doesn't get to me, but it kind of grinds my gears sometimes. It's not my favorite word to use for this, but it's for the Lord's Supper and it's the word Eucharist. Now, you may have heard this sometimes. You go to a church, and it's like, oh, are you celebrating the Eucharist today? Or it's in the uh, publications of a church, uh, today is a Holy Eucharist, something like that. Not a bad word. It's one of the words that can be used for the Lord's Supper. But what does it mean? What does this word Eucharist mean? And the word Eucharist comes from the Greek word Eucharisto. I think it's Eucharisto. Some, I'm sure some Greek guy's going to get on here. He's probably not watched any of these shorts before. But because I mispronounced the Greek word, he's going to tear me. It, and that's fine. Go ahead. I can't pronounce English words that well anyways. So it's fun times. But this word means to give thanks. Now, do we give thanks with the sacrament of the altar? Yes. Our response, the best response of giving thanks in receiving the sacrament of the altar is the amen. Yes, this bread is the body of Christ. This wine is the blood of Christ. Amen for the forgiveness of my sins. I give thanks to that. And we sing a song of thankfulness and praise afterwards, right? With the nook dimittis, now I may depart in peace. And we give thanks to God with the post-communion colic. But is that the real essence of the sacrament, is giving thanks? Well, no, that's not the essence of the sacrament, is giving thanks. The, the essence of the sacrament are the words of Christ, that this is his body, this is his blood for the forgiveness of your sins. So I guess the point I'm making here is, let's know what this word means before we just make it like this is now the liturgical terminology for the sacrament. No, it's the Lord's Supper, and in it we have a meal of thanksgiving, that in this we are given the gift of nourishment, that our faith is strengthened so that we may live lives of thanksgiving to God as we live in faith toward him and fervent love toward each other. So when you hear that word Eucharist again, think, you know what, this is something that this sacrament does for me. It strengthens my faith that I may live a life filled with thanksgiving to God. And how does it do that? Because it forgives me my sins. It grants me eternal life and gives me salvation. Thanks be to God for that. Eucharist, Eucharisto, Eucharisto, Eucharist. I'll have to get back with you on that one. Trust me, some, let, hopefully someone will correct me with that. It's always fun to give thanks, fun times. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support higher things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon for content notifications. You can follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.